our today's topic is burning mouth syndrome so what is burning mouth syndrome burning mouth syndrome it is a defined as burning or stinging of the mucosa lips or the tongue in the absence of visible mucosal lesions so what you see in burning mouth syndrome is there will be burning sensation of the mucosa lips tongues in the absence of any visible mucosal lesions what are the main symptoms of burning mouth syndrome the main symptoms of burning mouth syndrome they are located in the oral mucosa with or without involvement of any other part of the body and there are no characteristic laboratory abnormalities which gender is most commonly involved in the burning mouth syndrome there is a strong female prediction and uh, most commonly the females patient are being the post menopausal and the age of onset is being approximately around 50 years so for the mcq point of view you have to just remember that there is female prediction and the females are of the age of 50 years that is the post menopausal age an important thing that you all should know is what is the difference between the primary burning mouth syndrome and the secondary burning mouth syndrome in the primary burning mouth syndrome or idiopathic burning mouth syndrome for which a neuropathological cause is likely and cannot be attributed to any systemic or local cause whereas the secondary is due to the is due to the result of local or systemic factors or the diseases so in short uh, the pain in the burning uh, in the burning mouth syndrome is mostly described as burning or hot and intensity may vary from mild to severe what about the pain onset the pain onset is typically of spontaneous onset and lasts from months to several years now suppose a patient of burning mouth syndrome came to your clinic now how will you identify this patient yes by the clinical features or the clinical findings the first of all the history of illness will be for a longer time what you will notice is the burning sensation that will be felt either as continuous or intermittent discomfort the patient will complains that he is feeling the burning sensation that most frequently affects the tongue and sometimes lips or the palate the onset of symptoms that may be sudden or gradual over the months no oral mucosal lesions will be detected on the examination around 50% of patient with the burning mouth syndrome they are characterized uh, they complained of dry mouth that is not confirmed on investigation however some of the patient may also notice increased thirst they feel more thirsty some patient may report with the altered taste sensation either that is the, there will be reduction in the taste perception or presence of persistent unusual taste what kind of unusual taste like uh, most re- uh, most frequently being the bitter or metallic taste drinking or eating may temporarily reduce the severity of the symptoms the patient may be also associated with anxiety or the depression let us come to the etiology of the burning mouth syndrome either there could be local causes or systemic causes in local causes what comes you may see dry mouth that is the term we uh, denote is xerostomia mucosal disorders uh, the tongue you might see zoographic tongue that is the term used we use is edema migraines the other cause can be trauma to the oral mucosa that is the poor fitting dentures or gerd gastroesophageal reflex disease or trauma that could be occurring 
आई दैट टू द औरल म्यूकोजा ड्यू टू द पुअरली फिटिंग डेंचर और देयर माइट बी एनी सेंसरी नर्व डैमेज दैट कुड बी द दैट माइट बी द एटियोलॉजी इन द बर्निंग माउथ सिंड्रोम नाउ वट कम्स द सिस्टेमिक और मेडिकल कॉजेज द सिस्टेमिक इंक्लूड डेफिशेंसीज लाइक वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व डेफिशेंसी फोलेट और आयरन डेफिशेंसी मेडिकेशंस यूज ऑफ मेडिकेशन लाइक पेशेंट टेकिंग एस इनहिबिटर्स लाइक लाइक एग्जाम्पल कैन बी कैप्टोप्रिल अलर्जिक रिएक्शंस इम्यूनोलॉजिकल मीडिएटिव डिजीज लाइक सजोग्रन सिंड्रोम साइकोजेनिक डिसऑर्डर्स लाइक इन केस ऑफ डिप्रेशन एंगजाइटी एटसेक्टर अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉजेज कुड बी डायबिटिस मलाइटस एनी स्ट्रेस साइकोलॉजिकल स्ट्रेस एनी स्ट्रेसफुल लाइफ इवेंट और मीनोपोज नाउ कमिंग टू द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ बर्निंग माउथ सिंड्रोम द बर्निंग माउथ सिंड्रोम हैज बिन डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री टाइप्स टाइप वन टाइप टू टाइप थ्री सो विच वन इज द मोस्ट कॉमन इट्स द टाइप टू दैट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन वेयर एज टाइप थ्री दैट इज द लीस्ट कॉमन The type one is the symptoms that is not present upon waking, and it increases throughout the day. Whereas type two, the symptoms that are present on the waking and throughout the day, whereas the type three exhibit no regular pattern of the symptoms. Now, what are the treatment modalities that may be considered that may be considered in burning mouth syndrome? Uh, that includes we can use vitamins or dietary supplement, dietary supplements like alpha lipoic acid, analgesic, sprays for the pain relief or mouth washes, and in post menopausal uh, female patient we can use uh, uh, what can we use is hormonal replacement or uh, topicals that can be uh, applied to the oral mucosa when patient came with the history of dry mouth then we can either consider some saliva substitutes that may be given in case of burning mouth syndrome